Hello, my name is Jeff Rudd. I am a resident of Drada. I, to this day, consider myself lucky to be born in my ancient birthplace within County Laird, Ireland. I consider myself blessed for many reasons. Drada is a very historic place and has been the centre point for many things surrounding it. It has been a place in Irish history that has been deeply embedded many times over, equally in many centuries. From the era of New Grange and Ring Forts, from when kings ruled from Atara Hill, from the creation of Note and Doubt with its tunnels and towers, they all join in history such times surrounding as for example the creation of the Monster Pice Cross and many other historic points. Drada has seen many battles too, from the ravages of outside foes such as Cromwell that have left their marks around the town in name and in actual structure, to a more modern step forward in history for the areas where an Irish history war was fought on the steps of Drada and surrounding its old Millmount Tower. Drada, one way or another, has claimed its right to be remembered distinctly in Irish history, and as a person born in its wake, I feel honoured to have inherited such a historic background. Drada knows its place, as does its people, and its many residents respect those that have passed before them to see their town grow to where it is today in the annals of history. Dr- many Drada people, like myself, are proud of it, where it stands, both in location and on the Irish history books. Drada is divided by the River Boyne. In fact, the ancient and well-known Boyne River in the town divides the diocese of Armagh and Mead, Drada being once founded as two separate towns. They were once Drada in Mead, for which a charter was granted in 1194, and Drada in Oriel, as County Loud was then known. In 1412, these two places were united, and Drada became one county corporate, styled as the county of the town of Drada, a united place was born. In recent years, Drada's economy has diversified from its traditional industries, which also included a major shipping port of export and imports, for the rest of Ireland to further make use of. This included the Drada Steam Packet Company, formed in the town, that provided shipping services to Liverpool and England, a major trading partner, a national economic relationship that continues to this day. Drada has had a serious part to play in the birth of that relationship. The town later became also busier with an increasing number of people employed during a number of boom periods, but just not exclusive to those boom periods. In the retail services and technology sectors of Ireland, Drada also has previously given birth to a small community of independent artists and musicians who have later put one foot in front of the other and left their own mark upon the world, as well as on painting canvas and music note sheets. With the Irish economy boom of the 1990s, the Celtic Tiger years, Drada became a new location for many people who worked in Dublin, but who also sought to escape to quieter surroundings after work hours. Having sold all higher value Dublin properties, Many of the capital's residents bought new homes in Drada and house prices rose here too. Sadly, while this helped the local employment numbers to an extent by the hiring of skilled craftsmen, builders, plumbers, carpenters, electricians and the like, it also meant that as property prices rose in the town, homes became prohibitive for many Drada born residents who wished to equally become the forced home time buyers in their town. The town's expansion was aided also via the transport infrastructure that connected Drada by the Soares and Balbriggan road bypasses, a new Boyne River bridge and an increased number of commuter trains serving the town. Partly as a result, the downtown area of Drada was redeveloped, new large shopping centres were created and national and international retailers have opened stores within their premises. In 2007, a partial pedestrianisation of the town's main street, West Street, was brought about, 
Along the quayside, an additional shopping centre and large hotel was completed in November 2005, adding to the town's infrastructure. Drada has seen its share of good times and bad. Presently, as of May 2014, it's suffering a downturn. The modern day reality via political decisions made at national level and at local level has had a contributing price upon the town, and sometimes not in a good way. Like previous times, Drada hopefully will rise again. Its population has greatly grown. It's now the largest town in the county. Its rising again must come, however, with new fresh decisions and fresh thinking. Drada and its surrounding areas need to go beyond old and tired parochial ways of just electing representatives on personality, but they should look also at the organisations for which they stand for. I am proud to be born in my ancient Drada. I hope to serve it well in office or just in effort. I hope that my fellow Drada residents will think in the same light with decisions and years to come. My name is Jeff Rudd. Thank you for listening.